what a lovely little day I had out in Brooklyn. I got out a little bit later than I meant to, but you know, it was a lovely spring day. Great weather, I guess. It was sunny though, so was it good weather? Eh. The first two bookstores I haven't been to before. The McNally Jackson one I've passed, but I never went in. I don't know what's wrong with me, but those were nice. I also went to the Rip Bodice, which is a romance independent bookstore. It kind of recently opened a few months ago. It's been a while now, actually. But last time I went, I felt like I knew basically all the books that they had their fantasy paranormal section, of course. This time I felt like there were so many that I'd never seen before. I feel like I rarely ever get the experience of going to a bookstore and discovering all new books and standing there for a while reading descriptions and stuff. Like that doesn't happen for me because I already know most of the books when I walk into a bookstore. I'm just there to look at them and be like, you're beautiful. Maybe I'll buy you. I already know what you're about. Blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? But this time was different because, you know, it's a lot of independently published romance books, which I love. That's, I feel like, probably half of the romance books that I read. Romance fantasy, of course. I love fantasy. I only really read fantasy. So I couldn't decide between a few of them. One, the small little one that almost was like a mass market paperback, I think it was called Destroyer. That, like just the tactileness of that book, so small. Mm. I wanted to buy it just because of that, but that one and another book, the reviews were very hot and cold. It was either like love or hate. There was no in between for both of those books. So the one that I ended up getting was Fangs and Shadows by Jessica J. Elia. Ayala. Why did I just, okay, can I read? This, I barely read the description, but the reviews seemed pretty promising. So it goes, Rome. Oh my God, I can't, <laughs> it's, it's so, sun is setting so quickly. Demons haunt the mortal realm and the wolves of Rome have been called to battle. Remus, known throughout the empire as the lone wolf, lives a life of solitude, drowning the griefs of his past by hunting those who have ruined him. An unexpected turn of events throws Remus into the crosshairs of the Roman peck. Oh my God. So dark in here. Diane is a warrior of the pack, one of the strongest she-wolves who control the aether of the gods given bloodline. So okay, whatever. Sounds fun, okay? Rome, Remus Lupin vibes. Yeah. Did I just say Remus Lupin? Remus Romulus vibes. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going on a trip soon, so I'm going to save this for that because I'm currently reading The House of Hunger by Alexis Henderson, which so far, very beautiful, but more on that probably in a different video. Anyways, that's it for sports, folks.